Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. What's that uh, spot bot? Afternoonish. It's not quite. It's like quarter to eleven. Boss just gave me a call. He's like, "Do good morning," because <laughs> I've been home since my like eleven-day stint there doing shuttling swamp mats. And uh, he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna leave you alone." I'm like, "Why well, work if you need me to work? Like, if a day or two out of the six would be all right." Like, I don't normally take six days off in a row. I worked eight years with only taking off, like, Christmas and birthdays. Well, that's not true. We go on a holiday once a summer, at least for a week or two. We haven't always done that. Just decided that working stiff is just not worth being working stiff. Screw it. Can't get ahead, always fall behind anyway, so what's the point of working myself to the bone? Um, so yeah, he's like, hey, do you get, can you come in and uh, just go, just gonna go over to Clean Harbors and unload a highway guy. I don't remember what he said he had on, but we'll grab the pull truck and go over there. My truck's at West Dock getting some alignment issues, possibly bushings that I was talking about before, but I don't know if you'll see that video or not because I haven't really finished going through all the footage. Well, I kind of have, but I haven't. I'm leery about it. I like blur out. Well, I made two copies. I made a copy for my own personal use so I can remember what it was like, not that I'll forget. And then a copy that I thought I might be able to post where I just blur out everything like driving down the right of way and the loading of the swamp mats where I just made it black and white and blurry you can't tell anything anyways but I'm like man maybe maybe this one time I should just listen I made a couple of videos out of some of the footage that uh, doesn't involve really anything well it does but it doesn't it's like showing the angle out the window, looking at the trees as I'm driving down the right of way, so you don't, you don't really see anything. And I just, there's a lot of talking, so. I'm like, I can't work for 30 days and not have any kind of content. At all. <laughs> Especially when I'm putting out three videos a week, so. I'm gonna have to pull something out of something there. Like, I have enough to cover me when I go back on the 9th. I'm going back for a 15 day run. What do we got here? Please stand by. Here. Got some winch tractors here. What are we hauling? It's a rig. Monkey boards, and then here's the mud tank. Oh, it's just a little mud tank. Mm. I have uh, heard of some guys were talking. They're like, oh, we're starting to move some stuff slowly but surely. I've seen some posts on Facebook on some of the drilling rig moving guys' pages and stuff like that. They're like, oh, we moved a few of this, a few here. So that's pretty cool. It's good. It is yet again, it's rainy season here. It's been raining 
on well ever since I got home I had like a couple nice evenings I got to mow the lawn the first day because it was pretty long and then I've been tackling Danny lines because they're buggers but uh like uh, Fisca's got this thing it's got like four prongs on it and you just step on it and the way you lean on it it actuate the pinch the Danny line you pull out one at a time you might be able to smash two at once but and then you like rifle it like a pump shotgun and it spits spits the Danny line out <laughs> so it's kind of fun and then yeah mow the lawn I got garbage in the back of the truck. I need to go to the dump. Ain't done that yet. I, I got lots of stuff I need to do. And I just remembered something else I have to do. And I'm on day four. Yeah, this is day four off. So I only got like two, three more days of going back. Going back on the third day from today. And then it'll be a full 15 stent. Shackled from head to toe on the Grey Goose with nowhere to gizzo. Sorry, it's a Snoop Dogg verse. I know you won't know. So yeah, we'll go in, unload this highway hauler, and then we go back home, finish editing some videos, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the dump. It's gross, it's gray out. It's raining to the west. It's overcast here right now. Sprinkling. Stay tuned. Stop running. It's a big hurry. It's not running. It's out of fuel.
one, but I still have to use two cameras. But this motor setup set up better than our new one. At least I think so. Down brake is way tight from sitting in the rear. Jim Carrey and uh, Bruce Almighty. We got all this. It's a shame I got all this car and nowhere to run it. Hey, who's here? Uh,
but uh, pretty basic. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'll come into work t to for an hour. Setting cruise, maximum speed, 100 kilometers an hour, lane change. A lot of guys gripe about, oh, they want me to come in for an hour? Well, it'll probably be two hours by the time I'm done, but a lot of guys would always be arch about that. And I was just kind of trained that way. That's how it was at road training. You got a year's worth of town work adds up. I know it's a pain in the ass. I know there was one time when I went back to work like three times and I like, yeah, I was kind of pissed off because I'm like 15, 20 minutes from road train to my house and I would get home and I'm like crack a beer, just start mowing the lawn or something. And they're like, yeah, I need you to come back. There was only one time that it happened three times in one day. Like I was kind of mad, but sometimes I put forth the effort just to uh, carry a company to, uh, you know, try to make it through and not close their doors. Didn't work out so hard for me. But anyways, Bitch Fest 2021. Uh, yeah, we'll just go back to the shop here. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of the truck. For the people that aren't scrolling through all the recent videos I've made in the last two years with all sorts of content out there that you're missing out on, I might have to start recycling it. On like, uh, ooh, that's a good idea. Beep that out. That, uh, so I run Monday, Wednesday, Fridays with new videos, try to. And then I'll do the off days will be reruns. That's a great idea. Just like Howard Stern, he always got replays after he was on. There was a Howard 100 and Howard 101. You could always go to, I think it was 101, had the replays, and 100 was always the uh, current. So that's pretty sweet. That's kind of a good idea. I, mean, I won't do it every day because I'll run out of stuff immediately if I start doing that. Uh, but that's a good idea. So, that guy came all the way from Vancouver with that. I'm like, wow, that's pretty crazy. You came from Vancouver. <laughs> I'm like, that's a long ways. It's a pretty sweet drive. I'm like, no wonder it's on a double drop. And uh, he's like, unchaining. Of course, he's never never seen bed truck. What, what I was about to do, like he's probably seen a bed truck, I'm sure, but maybe not. He did say that was the first time I ever seen that. So he was like, I'm like, uh, you're, uh, we'll move you over on the flat ground and we'll get you disconnected from the neck, yeah? He's like, yeah, if you want me to. I'm like, well, it's the only way it's coming off for me. I'm like, I could rip it over the back, but my sling dragging across the cleats and wrecking the train. He's like, well, it's a rental, I don't care. I'm like, oh, one of those guys. But yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not wrecking my sling for that, just for the easement. I'm like, I'll help you disconnect because I'm that kind of guy. I helped him out. And uh, we took it off the front. Something he never seen before and now he knows. For next time. So like maybe they don't have a bed truck in Vancouver because he was like, two crayons loaded me. I'm like, wow, that must have been a couple bucks. Well, he could have had two forklifts. And then they put it all the way over to one side. So I was like hanging off my drive tire a little bit on one side because it was all the way to one side. There was no pin pockets or I would have opted to uh, just drag it down the trailer far enough and then pick it up so it came off the trailer and like two moves, you know? But there was no pin pockets and I didn't have a swamper and that guy's never seen a bed truck before and I'm not going to make the yard guy do uh, swamp. I'm like, well, let's just do it the way I know it's safest. The first time, that's what we did. The river is up. Dog calm. It was all rocks when I left the first trip, so got a lot of uh, melting in the mountains right now. So now is the time to get some good kayaking in. We usually float that river in the summer when it's nice and warm. We got blow up uh, like tow behind. We got a three seater, a couple uh, inner tubes that are that neoprene line kind of stuff because I was tired of popping them. So I had party boats galore and then I was just tired of buying those every summer because they get holes in them. 
And they're garbage, they're just vinyl. They're like garbage out of here. Go so, yeah. We'll uh, see you back at the shop. <laughs> thing I love about having a two-speed is some high reversing not so violent. I'm going to make the turn. Someone will get confused. Oh, my neck. Oh, I'm not used to that. I don't have much battery left to talk about this thing. Not that it's super important. 475 C15 twin turbo. Can't. So that's a plus. It's pretty tired. And anybody that might be from Saskatchewan would know what color this is from. Uh, there's the color of old money. Color green, color of fast. I don't know if it's fast transport, fast whatever fast. It's fast. This is not fast, but they're fast. It's got a Marsap rig up. Pretty dirty. Let's see, what, what's on the clock? Got the heater cranked, but the taps are turned off. 6,300 hours and 443,000 kilometers. It's got uh, planetary hubs, DTs, 18 speed, two speed. Uh, both winches are hydraulic, of course. Uh, we got kicker rolls, gen poles, fifth wheel hydraulically comes in and out of the deck. Um, I'm going to go with 20,000 pounds and 60,000, or sorry, yeah, 20 ton, 60 ton, or I, I don't think it's an 80 ton on this thing. I think it's just 60 and 20. Would be ideal for a small truck like this, just a pull truck. Oh, my neck is killing me just from that little bit. Um, so yeah, it's an older Marset, but it's nice. Pull cap. If someone asked me about where you might pick up a pull cap, does anybody know? I'm pretty sure like you would have to get it built. Um, and usually they're built out of heavy wall pipe. I know the, the outer, this is, this is definitely half inch. Let me collar it. Of course you'd want someone to certify it and weld it properly, right? But what do we got rough necks? My neck is a little rough. After driving this for 10 minutes, I gotta put, where's that oil coming from? I had to take some deck pins out of my red low boy because I didn't know where there was anymore. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be highway guys, not gonna have any pins. Uh, we refurbished when we got it. 
put these fenders on. Of course, this is all before my time. I think they might have even extended it out a bit. Put the all clear lights on. It used to be like Cypress's signature thing is to put all clear lights. He's gone away from it now because they are, seem to be more prone to breaking than the red ones. Uh, so it's got a center roll. And then it comes up crazy high, but it also is used, uh, you slide the uh, the poles off of the riser right onto the roll, which is not that I'm used to doing that, because all the ones we had were small ones, they didn't have center rolls. And then even like uh, the pull truck we had at Road Train did not have a center roll. So we got the DT hubs. Rubber block suspension. Camera. It is even still packing a Marsep mud flap. That one is not. Unless it's inside out. It doesn't appear to be. Oh. And we got this sweet. I think this used to be. I don't know who had this color because I've never seen it. I know that Flint had a picker. Transco, Hex, whatever, one, pick one of ten. I think at the time then it was Flint, they had a picker this color too. Might have been actually a little bit lighter. But it's got the extra frame added in, subframe, to uh, raise it up to be, get your axles more flat. Because a lot of times we just ended up having tandem high boys behind the bigger beds like this and they would just take something small like flare cam, you know, something little. And then we started to get tries for them. And then we built them like this. We have, we had one like this at Road Train too, but it didn't have center roll. Like, ridiculous. This one's got a center roll. The boss is like, wait, hold up just a little bit. It's like, you want to go grab some tanks over and bring them over here? I'm like, sure, I can do that. Oh, where did I put the key? Oh no, I lost the key. It's like I'll open the gate for you. I'll try to hurry. Hmm, I can't find the key. There it is. Just go across the street here, grab two tanks. Bring them back over here for someone to take them to Fort Mac.
going to throw a decal on each tank and then we'll take them over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 